The animation opens at a park where we see a squirrel named Surly and his rat partner named Buddy. They are about to steal nuts from a nut cart which is along the road. Surly and Buddy are thieves whose reputation has made them outcasts from the rest of the animals living at the park. At the center of the park, the animals led by Raccoon gather around the tree where they are storing food preparing for winter. Raccoon informs the animals that the food in their storage will not be sufficient for them during winter, and this gets them terrified. He, however, calms them and instructs two hardworking squirrels in the park to go searching for food for the animals. They are Andy, a compassionate female squirrel who has the welfare of the other animals at heart, and Grayson, a male squirrel who lives for the glory and attention the animals give to him. Meanwhile, Surly and Buddy sit on a tree above the cart as they go through their plans on how to conduct the theft when they see Andy and Grayson running towards the nut cart. Surly sees this and quickly proceeds with his plan because he wants the largest number of nuts and isn't ready to risk it to the animals. From her hideout with Grayson, Andy cites Surly leveling Buddy to the cart with a bucket, and she goes to where he is. She arrives at the tree where Surly is with his tools and asks that they work together, explaining that the animals are low on food. But Surly doesn't give in to her demands, and he prepares to head out to get the nuts when Grayson arrives. He lowers himself to the nut cart, whose owners have been distracted by the police and a little girl. Surly successfully gets to the cart and goes inside to help himself to a good number of nuts, while Buddy stays on the watch out. After a while, he comes out with his backpack full of nuts as he gets ready to leave. But he is sighted by the cart owner's dog, who chases after him while he hides under the cart. A few moments later, the cart begins to move down the road as a result of the tussling which goes on between Surly and the dog. Andy, seeing that the cart is moving away, hops towards it, trying to secure the nuts for the animals. Later on, the cart tumbles over with a leak in the gas tank and Surly lights a stick to prevent Andy and Grayson from taking the nuts even after they begged him to share. However, the fire which Surly lights makes the gas tank explode, sending the cart toward the park. Grayson and Andy ask Surly to help them stop it, but he refuses and deviously takes his bag and nuts and runs away. Unfortunately, the burning cart races towards the oak tree where the animal's food is, setting it ablaze and destroying their food in the process. The animals are heartbroken by the sudden turn of events, and Surly is brought in by two animals who saw him hiding in their hole. Raccoon is outraged at Surly and influences the other animals to vote for him to be banished completely from the park. The next morning, Surly is banished to the city and ordered never to return to the park. He starts his journey alone and even sends Buddy, who tries to follow him away. Surly gets to the city and is tossed around due to the busy nature of the people. He scampers around and finally rests inside a trash container lying on the ground, where he stays until it gets dark. At night, he hears a sound above the container where he stays and gets prepared to protect himself from any harm. The cause of the noise later turns out to be Buddy, but Surly had already hit him out of fear, throwing him across to a wall. Seeing that it is Buddy, Surly happily holds him in an embrace because he was already scared and lonely in the city. Some moments later, Buddy and Surly are attacked by a gang of wild rats, whom they fight off and escape from using a bird. They do not go far as the bird drops them off because of their weight, and they land on the ground in front of a nut shop. This nut shop is a criminal hideout used by some thieves who plan to break into a bank's vault. Surly and Buddy do all they can in an attempt to get into the building, but their efforts all prove futile as they are either thrown out or reach a dead end. Luckily for them, the entrance to the nut shop is opened on the arrival of the boss of the gang, so Buddy and Surly sneak into the building. Back at the park, the animals mobilize Andy and Grayson to go find food for them. But this time, inside the city, Andy is given some food that'll last her for some days while they are away after which she and Grayson head out together on their mission. They soon arrive in the city where one of the wild rats attacks Andy and takes her food pack from her, so Grayson retrieves it for her but is taken with the rat on a train. The next day, Surly and Buddy lay on the roof of the building feeling bloated because they had so much cheese to eat the previous night. The criminals in the shop have a visitor who turns out to be Lana, the boss's girlfriend, who thinks that the shop is legitimate and that he has changed from his bad ways. Meanwhile, their guard dog, named Precious, gets a whiff of Surly's scent and starts looking for him inside the shop. She sees him and begins to chase him around, but Buddy comes to Surly's help, causing an inconvenience to the humans. Their tussling takes them outside the building where they land along the road, so Buddy and Surly go far from the dog. 
They later walk to a bin where they see the dog's whistle which was thrown out earlier. Surly picks it up, but it slips off his hand and gets into Andy's possession, who threatens to dispose of it if he doesn't tell her what he's up to. But Surly leaves her and runs back into the nut shop with Buddy and they go into the basement, where they see sacks of nuts stacked. Surly is so excited and immediately starts taking the nuts, which he would take away with Buddy. But while they stack the nuts, Precious comes in and begins chasing them again and Buddy escapes through a vent while Surly is stuck. Andy then appears with the dog's whistle and negotiates that he would share the nuts equally with her. Surly reluctantly agrees and she hands him the whistle, which immediately makes the dog scared. Precious begs him and asks that they work together because she would rather not be sent away from her shelter. Andy comes into the basement and marvels at the amount of food she finds lying around, so she heads out to inform the rest of the animals. At the park, Andy informs the animal community of her discovery and also the plan to work with Surly to bring the nuts to the park. The animals are skeptical about trusting Surly and disagree with her suggestion. But Andy does her best to change their minds, stating that they do not have any other choice. Raccoon interrupts the meeting and reluctantly goes with the plan, announcing that they would double-cross Surly eventually and deny him his share. He then assigns Mole and the Bruisers to go with her to carry out the labor-related aspects of moving the nuts to the park. The animals arrive in the city to meet Surly, who instructs them on how the tunnel would be dug to carry out the nuts. While the animals try to connect the tunnel, an explosive accidentally goes off when Surly is in the basement, sending him and the diggers out. Surly luckily packed a bag of nuts, but the thieves had already arrived at the basement because of the explosion and had started closing all holes or possible entrances for the animals. Surly tries to devise a new plan, but Mole and the Bruisers are hell-bent on getting Raccoon's permission before they begin any other labor. This gets Surly upset and he moves away from them and later exchanges hurtful words with Andy, after which they go their separate ways. Andy returns to the park with her share of the nuts and begins handing them out to the animals, but unknown to her, her actions upset Raccoon. He is upset that the animals would soon have food without his permission because his former policy was to control the food supply, so he would remain the park leader. So, he orders Mole to head back to the city and sabotage the work which is being carried out to bring food to the park. In the city, Surly sees Mole putting a water hose into the hole which the bruisers are digging. He goes to the hole and tries to cut off the water supply, but it's futile as he is attacked by Raccoon's bird. Meanwhile, the water flushes out the bruisers and also flows into the tunnel which the thieves are also building. Precious helps Surly to fight off the bird, after which they chase Mole who tries to escape from them. Surly later catches up with him and after some interrogation, he finds out that Raccoon planned to sabotage the heist, so he'll have control over the park. After receiving this piece of information from Mole, Surly goes to look for Andy and the other animals to relay the news to them. He meets Grayson, who has returned, and tells them everything that Mole confessed. But they do not believe him and accuse him of having malicious intent against Raccoon possibly because he banished him. This reaction from the animals makes him angry, so Surly storms off after Grayson reunites with them. He heads back to collect his nuts and go his way, but he is captured in a cage while he is doing so. Lana then arrives in the basement and scolds her boyfriend for lying to her about his criminal ways. She later frees Surly from the cage and they all head out. Outside, Surly is attacked by the street rats, who were sent by Raccoon. They hold him down while Raccoon, who had come to sabotage the heist himself, comes out from the shadows. Inside the building, the thieves blast open the vault of the bank, and the explosion knocks Surly and Raccoon away. Later on, Surly fends off street rats and races into the basement amid the ongoing theft. The other animals are also in there and are being shot at by the thieves and their boss. Later on, Andy escapes to the outside with the other animals, and they see Raccoon, who tricks them into entering one of the getaway trucks and locks them inside. Surly and Grayson get on birds and go after the criminal gang's getaway truck. Raccoon sees this and goes after the trucks too, while his bird goes to attack Surly. Surly fights off the bird and tosses him straight into a fancy cat show, after which he, Grayson, and Mole open the door of the truck where Andy is. Then, Mole defects from Raccoon and reveals the truth to the animals, resulting in Raccoon being voted out of the park community. 
Frustrated, Raccoon throws Surly out of the moving vehicle, but he lands safely holding a bag of nuts. The police soon appear behind the thief's tails and soon surround them. Andy stays back to face Raccoon, scolding him for deceiving the animals, but a bag of money falls on her, sending her unconscious. Surly soon arrives at the scene and goes to where Andy is to rescue her. The thieves set off the dynamite inside the empty truck to blow up a police barricade at a dam. But the police shoot the tire of the truck, which falls off the road and into the dam, exploding as it falls. Fortunately, Surly gets himself and Andy off it, and he holds onto an edge to prevent them from falling into the water. But the explosion had caused cracks in the wall, so the entire structure collapses and everyone falls into the river below. Surly makes it to a log and looks around for Andy and the other animals, but finds out that Raccoon survived the explosion. The raccoon tries to throw Surly over the waterfall but falls into it instead, while the squirrel tries to run toward the other animals. His foot is then held by the unrelenting raccoon who appears from the water, so the animals arrive to rescue Surly. But Surly decides to be selfless to protect his friends and lets himself fall into the waterfall with raccoon. Now seeing the good side of Surly, the park community mourns him as they go home on the river. The nuts in the flood make their way to Liberty Park, where the thieves are rounded up by the police and Lana breaks up with the boss. Precious, however, takes Buddy to where Surly's body lay, and the rat mourns his friend. Buddy sadly starts heading back to the park when Surly suddenly regains consciousness and hugs him. Afterward, Precious leaves to meet Lana, who plans to run Maury's nut shop. Finding Surly alive, Andy embraces him and suggests telling the other animals of his heroism. However, Surly declines but becomes willing to work for them in their time of need. He then heads into the city with Buddy, allowing Grayson to take credit for the nuts making it to the park. However, Raccoon and his bird are still alive as they survive the flood and plot revenge, while stuck on a buoy in the ocean, surrounded by hungry sharks circling them. This is where the movie ends. Thanks for watching. See you soon with a new movie recap. Till then, stay happy and chill out.